Hello lovely Fault Gang. How are all you guys today? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I just came out of my tea place. I got me a pineapple sun, of course, and from a different location. So we're gonna see how that tastes. And before, hold on, wait, hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> Y'all, it's fucking cold as fuck outside. I don't know if you heard that one either. <laughs> Hold on. Go and get a face full of titties. <laughs> I'm trying to get my seatbelt on because I'm a safe driver. And if I'm talking funny, if I look funny at all, it's because I just had some dental work done, y'all. Um, fuck, data warning used to. Okay, I use my fucking data. And I'm trying to load. Um, it's good, it's good. I need a tripod for my car. This isn't my car. This is my mom's car, guys. And... Uh, this place makes some good ass tea though the nutritional tea y'all ever tried it the it's like the herbal life nutritional tea and like i said man i lost 10 fucking pounds and i just drink that and i mean i'm not telling you to go out and drink nutritional herbal life teas but they have like a bunch of different colors and they make them look real real cool um i'm gonna try this real quick oh green light I got my mom's sunglasses on. I gotta find her other ones too. She's gonna fucking kill me if she finds out I lost them. Oh goodness. That shit is good as hell. I'm trying to stop saying the F word. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, my teeth are alright. Yo, let me tell you guys something. I have bad teeth. If y'all have bad teeth and you got cavities, I have no cavities, but. <clears throat> I had some teeth that cracked because I never went to the dentist, especially when I didn't live here. You know, I lived in New York. I was fucking wild and crazy. And this shit was super expensive, you know. I was like skinny and like a crackhead because it's expensive out there, you know. So I didn't have enough money to really buy food. So I got real skinny and lost weight. And you know what I mean? So yeah, I have to like try to take care of my teeth and stuff. Y'all, I'm like about to go to Walmart. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. I, I told myself I wasn't gonna go. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get me some fucking creamer from Starbucks creamer to go with my iced coffee. I'm gonna get pick up another iced coffee because um I'll be using it a lot. I'm trying to think. What am I gonna cook today? There's people, hold on. I think there's a cop. Um anyways, I don't even know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make to eat today. I need to start getting on my salad shit. Let me tell you guys something, right? I wanna go back to vegan, but I don't know if that's the healthiest thing. What is your opinion in the comment below? Is it the healthiest thing? Is being vegan healthier than eating meat? Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to all the vegans, vegetarians out there that knew I was vegan, vegetarian and vegan once. Um, I started kinda eating meat because of like, I had fucking health issues. And I started to feel a little bit better and I started to lose weight but I'm like you know what I mean like I'm not really much of a meat person so I don't really know you know so let me know in the comments below your opinion on that is meat is the vegan diet healthy and safe comment down below so I'm numb like all that here and then I cracked the teeth yesterday because I was eating a fucking cold m and I didn't tell the dentist that but um, I was eating a, a cold m that I put in the fridge. I'm gonna crack the bottom tooth that needs a crown. And it didn't crack it, it chipped off. Like I should have said it chipped off, it is a cracked. And it was kind of rough on my tongue, so I freaked out and called them yesterday and I forgot I had an appointment today. And they called me back today and I was all mad. Like they didn't call me back to get schedule me an appointment, you know? Well, I was like, bitch, chill, chill the fuck out. He's gonna fucking call you. She's gonna fucking call you, whoever fucking fucking call you. And they called me this morning at like 8 something. I was fat ass laying in bed. I was like, I'm gonna go tanning today or whatever. Oh, so and so, my friend can't make it, so I'm gonna go by myself. Well, I was like, fuck it. I had to call the tanning place at like 8 something this morning. They don't open till 10. And I had to tell them that. I'm gonna go park over here. I had to tell them that cancel me, schedule me tomorrow, call me back. I have, uh, we had something else to do. Well,. I was like, oh, fuck, 9.30, y'all. I got to get on a schedule routine here because my life is so in sh fucking shambles right now. Like, I can't keep up with anything. I got way too much going on. I got a lot of shit. I got more than I can handle. And I just need to, like, seriously 
I seriously, seriously need to start keeping track of my shit, you know what I mean? Hold on, there's somebody, oh, don't look at me, I swear I'm not doing nothing bad. I need to start <clears throat> seriously keeping track and keeping up with what I do. And I need to start writing on my calendar or putting it in my phone calendar when my appointments are. Because this isn't good, I can't be doing this. I'll tell you one thing, <clears throat> one thing I'm really good at. I keep track of my medication because it's my health. I keep up with my doctor's appointments because that's my health. Well, except for today. I keep up with all my blood work. As y'all can see, I still have fucking... Let me see. I still have a bruise on my arm. It was really bad. And the reason why is they can never get it out of here. My veins don't stick out like that. They get it on my hand. It really hurts. Or they tried this one and got it out. So, everybody's texting me right now. My <clears throat> brother's girlfriend's like, did you get a tea and so on, so on, so on, so Yeah. We are obsessed with that fucking Herbalife tea. That shit is so good. They have different flavors, too. Like, look at that. Nutritional teas. Nutritional iced teas. There's, like, a lot of health benefits and there's a lot of energy and caffeine. But it's not, like, the type of caffeine that'll make you shaky. It's the type that gives you the good energy and it makes you feel really refreshed. You know, really energized and really good. It's not like you're drinking a whole bunch of coffee or Red Bull or something and, you know what I mean, your heart's going to fucking jump out of your body. No, none of that crazy shit. And I get the mega teas, and I drink one of these a day if I can. Oh, so cool. She put it on the thing, too. There was a guy there, too. I don't know who he was, but he was in there. I've never seen him. Well, not that I go there a lot, but he was there, and he was, like, doing some shit in there. He was, like, doing some stuff. Girl, you look like how I felt yesterday. Oh, wait, she pregnant as hell. She pregnant as hell. She looks so tired, y'all. Oh, I feel bad. Like, she's, like, having a hard time getting all her stuff out, putting it in a car. She looks extremely tired. Yo, I feel bad. But I was thinking about that the other day was, um, I was like, damn, am I going to ever have kids, you know? But even if I don't, you guys, even if I don't, because let me tell you, underactive thyroid runs in my family. And I don't know if it's something that we're doing or if it's just something that happens. But <clears throat> the doctor did tell me that it was something genetic that you get from like somebody in your family right so my grandmother had it and she was always sick all the time but she had two kids and but she was really sick all the time and then um what else she had two kids i have a cousin that got her thyroid burned off and they told her that she never had kids. She got pregnant, but she always had miscarriages, which is so sad, you know? Because I know she probably really wanted kids. I know it probably killed her that she didn't have kids. And, um, so, um, so my grandma was able to have kids. My cousin was able to get pregnant, but she was never able to give, like, go full term. You know, it was more like she would just miscarry it each time and they told her to stop doing that so i remember that i have another cousin that's got an underactive thyroid and i don't know she's doing some wild crazy shit i guess but she's never had kids i don't know if it's because she didn't try or she's physically she just can't do it or what i don't know and um there's some other ladies in my family a couple others that have thyroid issues underactive thyroid but they've had kids you know and then I asked the doctor, which I asked the doctor, right, um, can I have kids, you know, whatever? And they said, yeah, you know, as long as there's no other issues going on or whatever. There's no other issues that I know of, that I know of, you know. But also, let's be real. Bitch, you don't got nobody nutting up in your vajayjay. <laughs> like, okay, say this right. I know, I'm fucking bad as fuck. I know. My bad. Excuse my French, y'all. But, like, I know you gotta be sexually active. You can't, you can't use condoms, you know. You gotta let the dude just spray his sperm all up in your vagina hole, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get it all up in that bag, y'all. So, 
I know, I know. I won't be doing all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like my vagina stinking after this sperm goes up in there, you know? That shit be stanky. And they say that it's not good to use douche. They say it's not good to use feminine washes. So I stopped using all that shit. My fucking doctor told me, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest here. I had a fucking UTI and a fucking yeast infection the same time I had a fucking bacterial infection in my gut, in my intestines. And no, I was not doing it in the butt. <laughs> Because I know all you nasty fuckers out there are going to be talking shit, saying I did it in the butt, and I did not do it in the butt. It was more of, um, I was on a toilet seat in public, and I think I know where I, well, I don't know exactly where I picked it up at. But, bitch, let me tell you, I have a habit of when I have the explosive diarrhea, <laughs> I'll just tell all my business for no reason. <laughs> Um, but I gotta be real with you guys, because some people need information, you know, some people need information because they might be going through some shit, or they might need questions and answers, you know, what I mean? they might have questions and need answers, so I'm just gonna give it to you, I'm raw as shit, I'm real as shit, so I'm just gonna tell you, I have a habit when I have the explosive fucking mean ass diarrhea in my fucking gut, man, that shit is loud as fuck, I'm telling you, it echoes through the whole Walmart store, through the whole fucking Walmart <laughs> the whole bathroom to the whole fucking full out. No, I'm just kidding. It, it, it echoes. And I'm just like, sometimes depending on what I eat, it's like boom, 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 like a fucking atomic bomb. And like, <laughs> it's like an atomic bomb. So I had a habit of flushing the toilet, not thinking that everything that was in the toilet or any bacteria that was in there would splash up and hit me in my fucking asshole. <laughs> Hey, bitch, I got sick as fuck. Like, not throw up sick, but I had the, like, my diarrhea was 20 times worse, and it was painful. My stomach would be cramping. It would hurt. Constantly running to the bathroom. Anything I ate or drank went right through me. I had a bacterial infection that can make you very, very sick, and they told me, because I did a stool sample. Remember my, my uh, one of my previous videos? I've done a video, and I talked about that. So, all of that, i done all that. I talked about it, and, um... Yeah, so I got better after like 10 days of antibiotics, some very strong antibiotics. And um, I'm back to normal again. I'm back to shitting normal. Um, except for when my period comes, you know, I'll be going to the bathroom. I'll go to the bathroom and shit. And um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. That I talked so much, I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. But yeah, I just. Anyways, that guy distracted me totally. Ooh, girl, you got them bubbles in your throat. That pregnant girl still sitting there uh, watching me. Probably like, why is this bitch talking to herself? No, I'm, I'm talking. She probably thinks I'm video chatting with somebody. You probably think I'm video chatting. It's cool. So, anyways, I, I'm like, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch this video again. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all got questions, comment down below and I will comment you guys. I'm about to just run into Walmart really quick and get me some fucking Starbucks creamer and see what type of uh, cold brew coffee that they have in like the, the little section where they have like the yogurt and shit and all that. I'm going to see what they have and probably get some. And then what should I eat tonight? I need to eat something. I don't want to buy anything at work because I'd be spending way too much fucking money at work. It's not worth it. Okay. So, anyways, I'm about to go. So, yeah. Excuse me. I'm going to go. I'm losing my mind. I'm going to go home and clean my room and get rid of some clothes for donation. Um, hit me up if you guys want to custom. I do customs depending on what you want, the price. If you want that link. Hit me up, okay? I love you guys so much. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye.